Welcome to the ninth match of the 2019 Q season, co-sponsored by New Horizons Credit Union and the Mobile County Public School System. I'm Bob Grip, your Q quiz master. Today's match features high school students from Satsuma, Mary G. Montgomery, and the home team, Williamson. Good luck to everybody. Score as many points as you can. Here's your question. Give me the last name of the CEO of Facebook. Five seconds. Satsuma buzzed in early, Mary G. Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg is right. Very good. Came to Mobile for Mardi Gras not that long ago. Mary Montgomery, your question. 26 pounds, 10 ounces is the weight of a bucket of what food that has a 20-year shelf life and sold out quickly on the Costco website? Macaroni and cheese. That's right. Four points. Satsuma. Give the last name of the Nobel Prize winner who is known as the father of DNA. Watson. Yes, four points, very good. American history is the topic. Back to our home team. The northernmost point of the Confederate Army's advancement occurred in a small town in southern Pennsylvania. More than 160,000 troops clashed with more than 50,000 casualties in three bloody days in early July. Name this town and battle. Five seconds. Hey, Satsuma. Go ahead. Gettingsburg. That's right. One point. Mary Montgomery. The Fugitive Slave Law of 1850 was so drastic, it became known by another description. Name this description. The Jim Crow laws. Try again. Anybody want to buzz in? Satsuma. Black coats? No. Williamson. No, it was called the Bloodhound Bill. No points. Satsuma. Slavery was banned north of the 36 degree, 30 minute parallel by an act of Congress. Name this act. Missouri Compromise? That's right, four points. Biology is our topic to Williamson now. Name the kind of symbiotic relationship in which one participating species benefits and the other species is unaffected. It is neither benefits nor is it harmed. Five seconds. Uh, did they buzzed in early Satsuma. Parasite? No. Now Mary G. Commensalism. That's right. You're both right. <laughs> One point. Mary G. Sea lampreys live their entire lives on the exterior surfaces of fish where they cause harm to their host. Identify the type of symbiotic relationship they display. Parasitism? Yes. You're both right. Sorry. Four points, parasitism. And Satsuma. Identify the defensive coloration that is advertised by insects like the brightly colored monarch caterpillar and butterfly. Mimicry. Try again. Camouflage. Try again. Orange. No. Mary G. Warning coloration? Yes, warning coloration. Right, one point. All right, now time for sports. It's a toss-up category, so everybody hands on your buzzers, please. First team to push its buzzer answers first. Four points for a correct answer. This Major League Baseball left fielder played for nine teams from 1979 to 2003, including four stints with his original team, the Oakland Athletics. He holds the record for stolen bases at 1,406, most runs at 2,295, and was a 10-time American League All-Star. Give me the last name of this Hall of Famer. Okay, Satsuma? S Sosa? No. Mary G? Rose? No. Williamson? It's Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson was in the 
Literature is a topic to our home team again. In Tony K. Bambera's short story titled Happy Birthday, the narrator has a friend who always has some jive tale and always in one breath. Give the first name of this friend the narrator cannot figure out why she was even friends with because she exaggerated everything. Five seconds. Sarah. Nope, sorry. Not Mary G. Wilma. Wilma, right, on point. All right, Mary Montgomery. In Agatha Christie's short story titled Miss Marple Tells a Story, on the night Miss Rhodes was murdered at a local hotel, tell the total number of years Mary Hill had been employed there as a chambermaid. Four. Try again. Eight. Try again. Three. Try again. Nine. Five. Nope, sorry. Satsuma. Five. No. Williamson. Ten. Yes, very good. All right, Satsuma. In Louis L'Amour's short story titled Desert Death Song, when Nat couldn't get close enough to the spring called Stone Cup, he devised a way to get a drink of water anyway. Identify the specific plant that Nat put together to make a long type of straw that would reach the fresh spring water. Bamboo. Try again. Teenager. Try again. Cactus. Try again. Aloe vera? No. Mary G? Reed. A reed. Right, one point. Very good. All right, now we're going to ask some questions in math. In math, each team has a copy of every question for possible bonus points. So Williamson and everybody else, open your yellow math envelopes, please. A candy store operator wants to mix 60 pounds of candy using fudge costing $3 per pound and peanut butter costing a dollar and a half per pound. The mix is to cost two dollars per pound. How many pounds of peanut butter must be used in the mix? Five. Try again. Okay, hey, teams, if you want to buzz in with an answer. Okay, Mary G? 14. No. Satsuma? 7. No, 40. 40 pounds. All right, next question goes to Mary G. Montgomery, so everyone open your red math envelopes. Linda has $3.80 in quarters, dimes, and nickels for use at a video game party. She has twice as many quarters as dimes and two fewer nickels than dimes. How many quarters does she have? This is Mary G. Montgomery's question. Ten seconds. Twelve. Yes, that's right, four points. It was. It was twelve. All right, Satsuma. Everyone open your blue math envelopes. If train A leaves Philadelphia at 8 p.m. bound for Miami and travels at 120 miles an hour, and train B leaves Philadelphia for Miami at 10 p.m. and travels at 150 miles per hour on the same track, at one time will, crash, will train B crash into the rear of train A? One o'clock. Try again. Two o'clock. Try again. Three o'clock. Try again. Five o'clock. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. Williamson or Mary G. Montgomery, go ahead. Uh, Twelve o'clock. No. Williamson. Eleven thirty. What time? Eleven. No. Six a.m. 
6 a.m. was the time. The topic now is Shakespeare. In Act 5 of Othello, Desdemona pleads with Othello for her life. Initially, she asks for simple banishment. Then she begins to plead for diminishing amounts of time. Her last plea is to have enough time to do something. Tell what she wishes to do in that time. Five seconds. Eat. Try, Eat. try again. Pray. Yes, three points, right. Hey, Mary Montgomery, here's your question. In Act 5 of Henry IV, Part 1, Falstaff appears on the battlefield and remarks that most of his 150 soldiers are dead and the survivors are so injured they will live out their lives as disabled beggars. Give the number of his surviving soldiers. Five seconds. Four. 15. Try again. 20. Try again. 10. Nope. All right. Williamson or Satsuma? Satsuma. 150. No. Williamson. 30. What was it? 30. No, three. Just three. No points there. Satsuma, your question in Shakespeare now. Act 5, scene 2 of As You Like It concludes with directions from Ganymede to a gathering of characters that they must meet the next day to be wed. Give the total number of people who Ganymede promises will be married then. Six. That's very good. Four points. Correct. All right. Topic is geography. Back to our home team. One of the arms of the Mediterranean Sea stretches between Italy and the countries of Croatia, Montenegro, and Albania. Name this sea that separates Italy from these countries. Atlantic. Try again. Red Sea. Nope. Try again. Okay, Mary G. Mediterranean. No. Satsuma. The Aegean. What is it? The Aegean Sea. No, sorry. It's the Adriatic Sea. Mary G. Montgomery, your question in geography. The largest port city in northwestern Italy lies directly along the Mediterranean coast. Name this large port city, where also where Christopher Columbus was born. Florence. Try again. Venice. Try again. Thermopylae. Try again. Nope. Satsuma or Williamson? Satsuma. Genoa. We'll take that. Genoa. Uh-huh. <laughs> Satsuma. An active volcano lies in Italy in the eastern region of Sicily. This mountain volcano rises to more than 10,000 feet in elevation. Name this volcano. Vesuvius? Try again. Pompeii? Try again. No. Olympic? Try again. Olympia? Nope. All right, Williamson or Mary G. Montgomery. Anybody want to buzz in? Do we have an answer? No, it was Mount Etna. Mount Etna. No points. All right, we're halfway through our competition. Williamson has four points. Satsuma has 14. Mary G. Montgomery is in the lead with 17 points. New Horizons Credit Union has been serving its members and the community since 1950. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of the arts, civic activities, local charities, and higher education, including sponsoring annual scholarship opportunities open to all high schools. Visit New Horizons online at newhcu.org to learn about upcoming supported events that help make this area a great place to live. New Horizons Credit Union, offering its members solutions for the real world. Good luck, everybody. We're going to start the second half of questions in chemistry now. State the physical property described as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals the pressure exerted on the liquid, atmospheric pressure, unless the liquid is in a closed container. Five 
five seconds. All right. Satsuma. Gaseous. No. Mary G. No. The boiling point. Mary G. Montgomery, you're questioning chemistry. State the thermodynamic quantity that is, generally speaking, approximately equal to the difference between the sum of the bond energies of reactants and the sum of the bond energies of the products. Five seconds. Avogadro's. Try again. Satsuma. Entropy. That's right. One point. Satsuma. State the name of the gaseous product formed when solid zinc is allowed to react with hydrochloric acid. Zinc chloride. Uh, nope. Try again. Zinc. Nope. Mary Montgomery or Williamson? Nope. Okay, uh, Mary G. Uh, zinc oxide? No. Williamson. Oh, it's hydrogen. Hydrogen or dihydrogen, either one. Art history is a topic to our home team. Mostly known as the founder of an art movement called Spatialism. This artist was also a famous painter, sculptor, and jewelry designer. One of his jewelry designs, created in 1964 to 1966, was a white and yellow gold white cuff bracelet. The thin gold or yellow gold rectangular piece attached to the top of the bracelet has a number of holes which resemble the holes this artist would put in some of his paintings. Give the last name of this prolific and talented Italian artist. Da Vinci. Try again. Mary Montgomery or Satsuma, anybody have an answer? It was Lucio Fontana. Fontana. Mary Montgomery. This Norwegian expressionist artist painted themes of grief and pain in many of his works. In 1895, he created a lithograph stone from which several prints of his iconic work titled The Scream were made. This black and white, richly inked lithograph shows a figure with both hands pressed against the sides of his or her face. The figure stands alone in the foreground of a bridge or walkway with an agonized expression against a landscape with a tumultuous sky. Give me the last name of the artist who created this lithograph. Five seconds. Satsuma. Van Gogh. No. Williamson. Edvard Munch. Munch. Satsuma, your question. In the latter half of the 20th century, opera has enjoyed a revival, reaching wider audiences than before. Artists created sets and great fashion designers created costumes for operas and ballets. Give the last name of the German fashion designer who created a soldier's costume that resembled a silver armored dress with a red belt and silver helmet with ear flaps and long red streamers for a grand opera titled Le Troyen, or The Trojans. Munich. Try again. Hey, Williamson or Mary G? That was Carl Lagerfeld. That's what we needed. No points. Now we're going to ask some questions in team choice. Before the match began, each team chose the topic it wanted to be quizzed on. Four points for a correct answer and only one answer per team. And teams, if I rule the original team's answer wrong, you can buzz in immediately and then score two points with a correct answer. Williamson, you wanted a question in history. Again, just one answer. In 1844, an independent country that had recently revolted from Mexico was a hot-button topic of the presidential election between James Polk and Henry Clay. This country was eventually annexed and became our 28th state of the Union. Name this state. Texas? 
Texas is right, four points. All right, Mary G. Montgomery, you chose geography. Here's your question. The largest port city in Egypt and the second largest overall lies directly on the Mediterranean sea coast. It rests on the Nile River Delta's western edge. It was named after a Grecian conqueror that established his own settlement there in 332 BC. Name the city. Cairo. Sorry, now it's Satsuma or Williamson. If you know the answer, buzz in. Satsuma. Alexandria. Alexandria is correct. Two points. All right, Satsuma, here's your Shakespeare question that you requested. In Act 5 of The Winter's Tale, Paulina reminds others at court that a historically famous ruler died without an heir in order that only the worthiest of his followers would be able to succeed him. Name that ruler. Alexander the Great. That's right, four points. Just talking about Alexandria, and now Alexander the Great is correct. Time for a toss-up question in literature. So everybody, hands on your buzzers. In Louis L'Amour's short story titled, His Brother's Debt, when the character named Rock Cassidy backs away from a fight with Ben Kerr at a saloon, his enemies think he's a coward. Give the name of the town in which that saloon was located. seconds. It was El Paso. El Paso, Texas was what we needed. No points there. Physics is the topic. State the power to which the distance traveled by an object undergoing uniformly accelerated motion and time vary. Satsuma. Velocity. Sorry. Mary Montgomery. Acceleration. No. The answer I needed was time. State the last name of the scientist who is credited for discovering the proportional relationship between the force used to stretch or compress a spring and the amount of elongation or compression that occurs and for whom the associated law of nature is named. Five seconds. Newton. Try again. Anybody want to buzz in? Satsuma. Smith. No. Williamson. No, it was Robert Hooke. Satsuma, your question. State the name unit of physical quantity that measures the electric potential energy per unit charge in an electric field. Watts. Try again. Ohm. Try again. Hertz. Try again. Joules. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. Mary G. Montgomery. Amperes. No. Williamson. No. Electric potential. American government is our topic to our home team again. This agency was created in 1947 by Congress. One of its major tasks is to coordinate the information gathering activities of all state, defense, and other federal agencies involved in foreign affairs and national defense. Give the name of this agency. Central Intelligence Agency. That's right, four points. Mary G. Montgomery. On October 7th, 2001, President George W. Bush ordered airstrikes against this country aimed at destroying the training camps of Osama bin Laden's Al-Qaeda terrorist network and the Taliban regime. Give the name of this country. Afghanistan. Right. Very good. Four points. And Satsuma. Give the two-word term used to describe those civilian employees who perform the administrative work of the government. Blue collar? 
Try again. White collar. Try again. Citizen attorneys. Try again. <laughs> Mel Williamson or Mary G. Montgomery? Mary G. Bureaucratic uh, agents? No. Williamson. Civil service. Our civil service workers. World history is our topic. Back to our home team again. In 1976, riots broke out in one of the black townships in South Africa over segregated school policies. By the time the riots were subdued, 600 students had been killed. Give the name of the township where these riots occurred. Can you? Try again. Haiti? Try again. Mary G. Soweto. Soweto is right, one point. An organization known as the IMF seeks to foster economic growth and high levels of employment and to provide temporary financial assistance to countries in need. Give the name for which the initials IMF stand for. Five seconds. International Monetary Fund? That's right. Very good. The second Arab-Israeli war was fought in 1956 when the president of Egypt seized the Suez Canal from the British and attempted to nationalize it, after which Israel took possession of the canal with the support of Britain and France. Give the last name of the Egyptian president who sparked the Suez Crisis. Mohammed. Try again. Kaiser. Try again. Mary G. Montgomery. Mayor. No. Williamson. Nasser. Gamal Nasser. All right down to the last question in today's contest. And we have a tie right now going on between Satsuma and Mary G. Montgomery. Let's see if this breaks it. Okay, everybody open your white math envelopes now. If z to the fifth equals cosine 450 plus i sine 450, find z. Express your answer in simplest form. Satsuma. One. Sorry. It's Williamson. One. What was it? Negative one. No, sorry. All up to you, Mary G. Montgomery. Go ahead. Uh, one half. Go ahead now. One half. No, the answer was I. So, the final score is Williamson with 12, Mary G. Montgomery and Satsuma tied at 22 points.